friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we will be playing Minecraft, and we will have an unusual task to perform today. You will definitely like it. Hello, everyone. We have heard the news that evil Fluttershy dwell in this forest at night, and our task today is to make a protected house and set many traps to eliminate them. Hey, 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 hey! I think we should make it work, because there are four of us, and in one day, we can come up with so many traps that even we can get caught. Let's get down to construction, and let's not delay the time. I want to start building traps already. The first thing we have to build is, of course, a house where we feel safe. We need to build it so protected that even the creeper can't blow it up. So it will be us with several layers, and the first layer is iron. We will all help Fluttershy with the construction, because this is our house, and everyone should take part in its construction. Very cool thought that there will be several layers, and it will definitely protect our home from enemies. This house is definitely not going to explode, and I'm sure of it, because iron is a very strong material, and what will be the second layer is certainly not going to break, unless it's some kind of dryer. But they're not here, so it's okay. We've all shared responsibilities so we can build this house faster. I will build the base of the whole house, and Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash will build the ceiling and floor in our house. The next thing we're gonna do is build a second layer of obsidian. I think it will be the best defense against everything, and our house will not be attacked. As soon as he is seen, they will run the other way. It was a brilliant idea to make a two-tier house. After all, one layer of iron is certainly good, but we definitely need additional protection to make us feel fully safe. Against evil Fluttershy, it is very good protection, because they will hardly have the tools to break the house. And obsidian ordinary hand breaks for a very, very long time, so they definitely cannot get into our house. I really like our goal of building a very secure place and so I'm willing to do my best to deal with these evil Fluttershy. We will save not only ourselves, but also civilians who are killed by them. Here we are, as much as with the first layer of the division of responsibilities among themselves, because it works much faster than doing everything alone. So each of us is doing one side of the house, and we're also starting to do the ceiling. Okay. So our next task will be to dig a huge ditch around the whole house so that angry Fluttershy can have a harder time getting into our territory. It will be very deep in the first place, and then there will be spikes below that will kill everyone instantly. Here we are all busy with our business. Here I am placing these deadly spikes, only friends. Please do not step on them in the process of digging. It's all set for the evil Fluttershy. I hope they can't handle this moat. We'll have to make this ditch as fast as possible and as deep as possible. So we'll use a few men to dig deep. I think this is a very productive method and we will definitely solve this problem quickly. I agree with you, Fluttershy. It's a very difficult task to accomplish alone. Even if it is not too difficult, it will take a very long time to make this work because it'll take a long time to dig it all up and put all the spikes in. Our next task will be to place spikes around the whole house, mainly after the spike pit. Traps are for enemies to take damage after they jump over the pit. It's a very good trap not everyone can handle. The most important thing is that we do not fall into such a trap because traps are a very complex mechanism and if you get into it, it will be very difficult to get out as long as you put your foot right and get out of it. We will have to do it from each side because it is not clear where the evil Fluttershy will come from and how they will attack. It's better to be safe and set all these traps than to suffer. I love what we're doing now because we're trying to do what's best for the forest and the people. I think they suffered for a long time from the evil Fluttershy and now we must help them by exterminating all the evil Fluttershy. We are almost done and we will soon move on to the most interesting parts that even our friends, whom we invite here, do not expect to see. We will make secret pits that will be very difficult to distinguish from ordinary blocks. We are about to dig these holes. They will be very hidden because they will be sealed under ordinary blocks of earth. But if it falls here, there will be enemies waiting for a deep pit of lava from which it will be impossible to get out. We'll set them up so we can get away from them. And so after the enemies pass the spikes and traps, they do not expect to see the pits and fall into them. I think that this will definitely work in an attack. 
This is a very interesting trap, and I don't think I would have guessed that it could have been done. We think very well, and that will certainly help us in saving our forest and saving it from the evil Fluttershy who attacks civilians. I don't even know how we thought to hide those holes like that. It's a good thing we had cloaking blocks, and it's the only way we can defeat all the evil Fluttershy, and they won't interfere with civilians anymore. It's gonna be night soon, and we need to hurry up a bit. So let us push ahead and get on with our task and move on to the final trap that we have set for the evil Fluttershy. We shall now proceed to the final trap, which will be the most final, and I think it will save us at the very last moment. Now, I'm digging a big hole with spikes in it. If the evil Fluttershy can break through our defenses, they will surely run after us, and we will hide in the house, and they will not expect to see such a trap. So we've dug a hole, and I'm about to set the trap! There will be spikes here that kill instantly, and so if the evil Fluttershy want to run into the house, they will not succeed and they will just fall here. Then I have to close it all down to make it a disguised place. I myself would not have guessed that there is a trap. Next, we'll make an escape plan just in case. If we fall there or vice versa, if the evil Fluttershy don't die from these spikes, we will need to make a secret passage to this place from our house so that if we can finish off these enemies of the forest, or so that we can get into the house if we fall there. I think it should be, because safety comes first. Here comes the night we have been waiting for so long. We have prepared all the traps, and here we are attacked by these evil Fluttershy. There are three of them, and they have completely surrounded our territory. I hope that we will cope with them. We need to think about what to do with them, because there are three of them. And the most important thing is that one of them gets caught in our traps. They're so scary and they're staring at us. Oh my God, they started the attack and the first one fell into our trap. We run to the house to escape them. We specifically made small real blocks so we could get inside the house quickly and not fall into the hands of these villains. Well, here we are. It looks like they all fell into our traps, which we have prepared because I saw one of them fall into a secret pit of lava and the other fall into a ditch of spikes. Except the third one is unclear, and I think she fell into a trap at the entrance. Hooray! We were able to escape the attack of the evil Fluttershy. They were so scary. I was very scared when I saw them. It is good that all the traps were used and none of us were hurt. We are great. Now the forest in which we settled completely. Saved from the attack of these evil Fluttershy. I wonder why they look like this and why they did it. The main thing is that we saved all the civilians. Subscribers, if you like this video, then subscribe to our channel and like this video. Also, write your opinion in comments. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will have a very unusual series on the game Minecraft and even will be able to great competition between us. I hope you all will really like. Hello, everyone. Today, we will have a competition between two teams. We will build an underground house that will have to be built by every team, and the one that will build the best will win. Hello? Today we will split into two teams. In one team, I will be with Applejack, and in the second team will be Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. I think it's best we don't delay and start building. Now let's get right to the construction. Our task will now be to mark the territory for the start of construction of our house. That's why I'm doing it now. So we will now start building our house. Now I will mark the territory on which we will build our house, and it will be big enough. It will be a 120 square block. I think our friends will be very surprised. I'm gonna help Fluttershy with this, cause she can't do it alone. It will be necessary in addition to digging, so also put blocks on the air, so as not to waste time and immediately build everything. We are also now going to do everything together to quickly start to the main part of construction. We've got a lot of work to do here, and we're just marking up. So we have finished marking our house. It remains only to finish the important things that can interfere with our construction. Our house should be perfect for our friends to really like. We are now beginning with Pinkie Pie to remove the land so that there is an empty space underground where we will build our house. This is a very interesting task, only to dig the ground for a very long time. I will dig with Fluttershy, and
and we have deliberately divided these sides into two so that we can handle this task more quickly. It saves more time, and most importantly, the forces we need so much. We too are now embarking with Applejack on the excavation of all the land where we will make our home. We'll have a small depth, just three blocks, and we'll have more than enough for our house. It will take us a long time to excavate this land, because instead, we could definitely do something interesting in our house. But we should also take time for that. Just get it over with. We are almost done with these excavations, and we have very little left. We need to dig four blocks deep to fit our house underground. It will be very spacious, and I think our friends will like it very much. Now, Fluttershy and I will start building walls in our house. After all, the earth and walls in our good house will look very bad. So now we'll replace them all to make it beautiful. Okay, Applejack, now we have to make the walls in our house. They have to be very cool because our house is a circle. I'm about to dig the ground and you need to put the wood right away so we can finish this quickly. That's a very good idea, Rainbow Dash. It's actually faster this way. So let's do each task together so that we can quickly make our home and spend half as much effort as we would have spent one. Pinkie Pie. I hope you can keep up with me because I'm very fast digging all this land and we need to cope almost simultaneously to finish it all. This is already a very large room. It's all right, Fluttershy. We are doing very well and we have well figured out what to do together. And at the same time, this is really very quick. And now we will quickly finish the construction of our house. Now we are already beginning to build a floor in our house. We will also have a wooden floor to keep the house warm. And we will do exactly as we did with the walls. Everything will be done together. Rainbow Dash says everything correctly. It's much faster to do it all alone. We have almost complete house. At least we have made almost the basic interior in our house. So, and we start to build our already interior of the house. Paul, we do a little later, because we need to do finally descent into our house. We'll have to make a ladder to climb. The stairs will be a little decorative and will be made of manholes because it is very cool looking and very suitable for our style of interior. You just have to think it through to make it work. We are almost finished with our floor and very soon we will begin to improve the upper part of our house. I already love what our house looks like because it is very futuristic and looks modern. That's it, there are only a few blocks left and we can move on to the next challenge that faces us. We need to make a roof in our house so that no weather conditions disturb us. Now, we will start building the roof of our house. By the way, you can notice that we have made the floor. It is very fast done. I'm going to be putting up decorative blocks to make the house look really nice. And I will now place all the leaves around these sets. It will look very cool. And there will be some vegetation in our house. I want to finish the construction and see what our friends have done. Now we will start building a glass canopy in our house. It will be very unusual because it will be made entirely of glass so we can see everything that is happening above us. Very cool looks. I help the Rainbow Dash with this task because the two of us do it much faster. I love working as a team because one way I wouldn't have built it in a day. I'm so glad I have a Rainbow Dash. Here we are finishing doing it. And now you can see how beautifully we have decorated our roof and the floor outside. There are many names, but the most important thing is that we have almost finished building this house and all we have to do is glaze it. That's what we're gonna do. We will also share the responsibilities because our house is not small and it will take a little more than one force to completely glaze our ceiling. Let's get this house done. So we will now do the tiniest interior in our house because this is all that is left in our house. We will make a lot of ovens and workbenches. You also need to make a lot of chests to store resources. Well, and of course beds with paintings will definitely need us. Here, we have already arranged all the things that should stand in our house, and now we only have to hang the picture everywhere so that the walls do not look so empty. I think it would be much better than it was. Well, we're quietly finishing up our ceiling. There was very little room to place the glass. But the main thing is that we have already done all this, and now we have only interior. In the interior, we will not do something so cool and modern. We will just arrange all the things that we may need in the ordinary survival. This is a lot of ovens and workbenches, as well as chests and beds. 
also will not hurt decoration paintings. So, Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, here you are to see our house. What can you say about it? Tell me that it is very funny. I'm very interested in what you've done. It's a really cool house and I think it's really fun, but it's pretty small because it only has one round room. You can go crazy here if you have benches and ovens around you. And I really like how our friends turned out. I would even live here if we built all this in survival. Here is very comfortable and only one room and a full view of the sky. Okay, friends, run now we show our house. This is our home. Please be kind and welcome. It has a very large room, which will be very good for living together because there is enough space and you can make additional rooms. Oh my God, how beautifully made. There is a beautiful descent as well as a passage to the main room. There are not so many resources, which we have a lot. And here it is definitely not necessary to do. I like very much. What say Applejack? I really like this house and I would really live in it. There is everything for life and plenty of space for expansion. You can even make an extra room. Definitely this house won. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. Today we have a very interesting and exciting task, which you should all like. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to have a little competition between all the friends where we're going to build modern wooden houses, and the best one is going to win. Hello, everyone. I really want to start these competitions already. This is very cool. We will split into two teams. I'll be on the team with Applejack, and you, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie will be on the other team. Now we will already start building our houses. We with Rainbow Dash are already beginning to build the basis of our house, on which it will stand. It will be small, but very beautiful. Now, and we with Pinkie Pie will start building our house. We want to build a very big house, so we will do everything together. First, we need to build a foundation on which we can build a house. While Fluttershy marks the place where our house will be, I will already make a base of oak wood to understand how high our house will be and whether this is enough. This is what we do so as not to redo and waste time. We have made almost all the columns that we need and very soon we will begin to complete our house. It will be one story but very beautiful and it will be comfortable to live in, for example, at the beginning of survival. Now we just have to connect all these beams to get a full-fledged foundation from which we will build to make a full-fledged beautiful house. Now we will already start making walls on the first floor of our house. That's right, we will have two floors to have a lot of space for everyone. We'll also make window frames so you don't have to worry about windows. I'm about to help Fluttershy design the walls. She's gonna make a wall with windows in it and I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the walls so Fluttershy doesn't waste her energy on it. Okay, well, we're starting to build a floor in our house now because it's just a building. You need to make the floor so that it was already a little bit like home. Next will be only more beautiful. After the floor, we will now make immediately the window frames to be able to understand what size will be our windows. And from them, we will make a very beautiful roof, which you will see later. We're almost done making walls and we're just a little bit left. Now I will finish the last long wall with windows and we can start the next task. I really like to build. Now we are beginning to build a ceiling in our house and Fluttershy makes a beautiful border to make the house look beautiful. Of course, there is a lot of space here, and it is very good. It can settle about 10 people. We're about to start building our beautiful roof. It's going to be made out of steps, and I think it's going to be a very nice and good decision because the rain won't come to our house. It requires a lot of work, and the roof is going to be the most difficult part of our construction because it is not so simple, and you need to do a good job to make it right and very beautiful. I'm doing a very beautiful thing in our house right now, and it's a small ledge from the main roof. On it, we will have a fence that will save us from falling and also will not occupy a place on the second floor. And I'm almost done with the ceiling, and I'm not much left. We very quickly coped with the construction of the first floor, and we have very little left, and we can already show this house to friends. They will love it. Now we will begin to build the roof itself. 
the main thing is not to hurry and do not forget anything. It should be right at once and connect with the rest of the steps everywhere. I hope it will work. Yay, we are doing well. Then we can do it now for sure. I really like that everything is working out. Now we will finally make this roof and begin further construction. And we will now begin the construction of a room on the second floor, which will be at us as a warehouse and for different things. The second floor will look like one large balcony on which to have a very good time. I'm about to help Fluttershy build this room on the second floor. I will start making long walls so as not to spend much time on it later. There will also be windows and this room can be done as a break room. We're about to finish this roof. Only the second part is left and it's so cool that we were able to finish the most difficult part of our house so quickly. That's because we got it right from the start and we didn't have to redo it. Now we will be inserting windows into our house because it is still without windows and without doors. We need to correct this situation. But first, we need to finish the roof and that's the final line that's missing. Now we will build the roof of our second room and the whole house because this roof will decorate not only the second floor and the whole house. It's gonna be hard enough because the roof is too big but it's okay. And I'm about to make a staircase for our house cause we're gonna have to go upstairs sometime. And the ladder will be a very good solution that will immediately eliminate our problem. We're almost done putting windows in our house and we're very little longer to show it to our friends. I can't wait to find out what our friends have done for us. Besides the windows, we will make a staircase to our house. We are already finishing our roof in the house and it remains only to do the outside. We need to make this roof look beautiful. Not like it's some kind of hat on this cube. Yet we do beautiful, not some. Now we're gonna start decorating our second floor so it's not empty. We will now make a beautiful vegetable garden, which will be right at our home. Here we'll grow wheat, from which we will make bread. And now we will be engaged in the interior of our house. After all, we need to arrange it beautifully so that you can live in it. Now we're going to make a ceiling in the house to make a small warehouse. We're about to make a staircase to the second floor so we can get in easily. For this, we will now make a large oak pole in the middle of the room, which will have a ladder on which we will climb to the attic. Now, I'm going to make a beautiful canopy over our garden so that some hail or heavy rain will not erode our vegetable garden and all crops will remain intact. It's a very cool idea to make a vegetable garden in the house. So we already planted all the wheat and even poured water. And I want to embellish a little of our garden and make hatches around it so that they give a little bit of style to this bed and it fits well with our wooden house. There is only the final part of our house and this is vegetation, which we miss very much. So under the house, we will make for the beauty of the oak leaves to look very beautiful and there is vegetation in the house. And I'm going to start building the interior of our house because we have finished building our house. We will now place all the vital items here, such as the workbench, the oven, and the chest, as well as two beds for us. Now we'll do the interior of our house. As you can see, we have replaced our earthen floor with a wooden one, and now we can place all objects with peace of mind. We will put up workbenches, stoves, beds, and chests, as well as hang very beautiful pictures. I'm going to do the second floor interior now. Here, I will make a very beautiful sofa where you can sit on a sunny day as well as arrange a small room. Here, we will put a lot of anvils and several tables of enchantments. Well, friends, here we are and appreciated the house of everyone. I like very much the house Fluttershy with Pinkie Pie. It is very big and beautiful. But our house is also no worse because in ordinary survival, it is made easier. Well then, it's time to end this series. I think the Fluttershy team with Pinkie Pie and their big house have won 100%. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon, bye. Hello friend, hello dear subscribers. Today we will play Minecraft and we will again survive as usual because we are so used to it and for a long time it was not on our channel. Hello everyone! I propose that today we all develop well and even go and kill the dragon because it is very cool and you can consider that we passed Minecraft. We've already settled in one house in the village. This is a very good idea. Let's then move according to this 
idea so that we do not forget anything. Soon we must go to the cave for resources. Only now the best solution is to rest. Friends, then I will go for a little walk around the neighborhood in case I find something interesting around. And you are sitting here resting? I am full of energy. I just want to take a walk and see what's interesting. Sure, it would be nice to find something valuable and please your friends, but I don't think I can do it. We have a cave nearby, but I won't go there. I'll run to the other side. Oh my god, I'm being sucked by water. No! A few moments later. Oh my god, where has our friend Applejack gone? I'm just shocked. She's gone for hours. She couldn't walk that long and I feel like something happened to her. Look for her everywhere. No! It can't be that something happened to her in the middle of the day. She's probably lost somewhere or just ran away and spends all her energy. I hope we can find her and make sure she's okay. I'll look somewhere far away from our village. Suddenly she ran to the nearby forest, which is on the other side of the river or something. Oh my God, what's that in the water? Oh no, Applejack drowned. We have to get her out now. What a horror. How did she just manage to drown so? It was not so deep. It looks like she didn't do it on purpose because there could be some currents that sucked her under. I agree with you, Fluttershy. What a pity. It's just awful how it could have happened. I just don't understand. It is such a loss for us and we cannot continue to survive without it. Something has to be done. We must bury it because we do not have a choice yet. It is very bad to keep the body not buried and it will be very confusing for us. What are we gonna do with her? It's too bad she's not with us now. Let's get her up and get her to the village. There we will build her a grave in the village so that she is at least heartily with us. Otherwise, we are nowhere else. Just think what you can do to make her come alive. It is very bad to lose a close friend because she was about to be with us and now she is not. And so well started today, we even found a house. All right, we need to think about what we can do with her. Maybe we should prepare some potion to make it come alive? Only where can we do this? You have some suggestions because I have nothing in my head. I think only of Applejack. I will now bury our friend Applejack. How early she left us and very suddenly. It seems like she just went out for a walk and now she is gone. We'll give her a big cross to see from afar. Well done, Fluttershy. This is a very good grave and I'm glad you volunteered to dig it up. We would have helped you, but there is very little space. We better figure out what we can do to revive our friend. Oh, girlfriends, what are you? We live near the swamp. And as everyone knows, there is a witch who has a lot of potions. Let's run over there now and try to make her potion a cure that can help us. Run quickly. It's just a brilliant idea, Rainbow Dash. You need to do it as soon as possible because the witch can already come home and rest. And if we go to her, she'll kick us out. By the way, I know how to cook a healing potion, so you're very lucky with this, and we don't have to find any recipes to make it. The main thing is to get into the witch's hut and get things to make. I feel really bad because I lost a friend in just a few hours of our survival. It's so awful that I don't even want to think about it. But the thoughts get in my head, and I can't even forget about it for a few minutes. Come on, friends. We almost made it to the swamp. All we have to do there is find her cabin and look around to see if the witch is in the house. If so, we'll have to wait for her to leave. It's good we're getting closer. It means that you need to prepare a little bit for the swamp because everything is very long and you need to be careful not to fall into the swamp. Be very careful, friends, please. So we ran to this hut and apparently the witch is in the house. What are we going to do now in this case? We can't just break into her house and do something at the potion park. Do not worry. It is not evening yet, and I think that sooner or later this witch will have to leave her house. Yet she does not sit there. Now she will make a lot of potions and go hunting. She is a villain and kills all entities. And if she doesn't leave, what will we have to do? I am very afraid to go to her. Can there be any alternative options to save our friend? I'm really scared to be here because it's a swamp. Pinkie Pie, what are you talking about? Even if we have to kill this witch, we'll run and we won't even want to run back. Because it's the only way to save our friend, and we're gonna have to do it. All right, girlfriends. Looks like the witch is gonna be coming out soon. Because we've been watching her for a long time. 
We'll have to sneak in and hide from her so that she doesn't come out and find us here. We're very open now. Let's all hide and we'll go in. So, let's go into her house now. I hope she has supplies here, which she leaves for the next potion she needs. Oh my god! Here are all the ingredients that are required to create a healing potion. We will save our friend. The healing potion is done very easily! We will need only three ingredients and fiery dust from the mineral rods! First, we make an ordinary potion. It's very easy. We only need a bottle of water and a spider eye. After that, we'll have to make it into a cure itself. To do this, you just mix a glowing watermelon into this potion and you get a very good healing potion. After that, we just make an explosive potion and we can run home. Finally, we can save our friend. Even though we're using it as a witch, we're doing it all for a friend. And that's a pittance because we could have gone and killed a dragon or worse. A few moments later. Everyone, we made this potion and we run away from here because soon the witch will return. We have been making this potion for so long that it has been so long. Finally, we can probably get our friend back now. So now we will try to throw this potion into the grave to Applejack. I really hope it works. Oh my God, Applejack, what are you alive? Hurrah! We did it as friends and now Applejack is back with us. Hooray, Applejack, I missed you so much. You were gone so long. I knew it wasn't forever and you wouldn't die so early. We did everything we could to heal you, and I'm glad it worked out. I'm also very glad that Applejack is back. You would know what we went through to get you back. We tried so hard to make you come back to life and never die again. Don't go out like that again. Oh my god, friends, what happened? The last thing I remember was the water and how I got sucked into it. And now I'm here with you. I could survive. If you brought me back to life, thank you very much, friends. You are the best. You're finally home, Applejack. We're so happy to have you back here because we've done so much to get you back here. You would know we're gonna finish this episode and we're gonna tell you everything. It's so good to have you back. I was so scared for you and I was so scared I wouldn't see you again. You've always been very active and it would be very bad for us to lose such a good friend. So let's now finish this series. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Write your opinion in the comments. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we are going to play a game called Minecraft, and I think you will really like today's challenge. Hi, hi. I'm glad we're back in Minecraft. Today we will compete in who will best build tests in the real dog day from Poppy Playtime. Hello. This will be very interesting, and we will have to split into two teams. Applejack and I will be noobs. And you, Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie, will be professionals. Let's get on with the construction of the trials, or we'll never get anything done, and we'll do it for a long time. We have to get everyone really comfortable. Now you and I will begin the construction of the first test for our friends. It will be fake, and will be in the most visible place, so there is no need to make a basis here. Here we will make a little test where our friends will need to climb the vines up. And on top, they will be waiting for an empty chest that will indicate that it is a fake level. This is how we will work with vines and it will be roughly speaking mini parkour because of which our friends will spend a lot of time. We're going to be doing fake passages on our trials now too. And they're going to have to be very complicated and complicated to waste as much time as possible. Rainbow Dash will make difficult parkour for our friends and I will wait for her and make a chest in which there is nothing and immediately make a button to teleport to the first level. Now I'm going to show you what a little parkour our friends are going to be like. It will be difficult because it consists of fences. Next, we need to make the entrance as well as our first basic test that our friends will need to pass. Pinkie Pie's on the door right now. I think the perfect entrance to our trials will be a button that just teleports our friends to the first level. I think it's gonna be hard to find a button. Right now, I'm starting construction on our facility for the first test. It will be emerald to feel the level and was just very beautiful. I will help Fluttershy to make a test for our friends. Here you will have to choose the right hidden torch lever, which will give the code to the door, which I will also build now. Now we too will begin the construction of our first test. It will be very interesting and dangerous, and I think that friends will definitely not get it the first time. This will be a very fun test that includes the choice between diamonds and emeralds. 
Here I will now help Fluttershy, so that we quickly do. We need to work hard on this test, because it is very difficult to build. But it's very good for our friend's intuition, and we're just checking to see if they want more. Next, we will begin the construction of our second test, which will consist of a difficult parkour, as well as a small choice. I'm building it right now. This test will be very interesting, because it includes a choice between ordinary water and fake. Our friends will have to make tough choices to get through this. That's how we're gonna build our cool girlfriend parkour. I think it will be very difficult, and our friends will definitely not cope with it. So we too are now beginning the construction of the second test. It will take a very good try to find out of all the buttons the one that will give the password to the door. I will now help Rainbow Dash with work, because one here will do for a long time. I'll put all the stone buttons and confuse them so my friends get confused. We have almost completed our test for our friends, and it is very little. I hope they really like it because we're working really hard on it. That's it. All the buttons are in place, and now we can start the next part of our trials. I think it was very fun and minimalist, and my friends shouldn't have to guess. Now we're going to make the final test for our friends. It will be on the street, and when the friends start the first time all this is going on, they will be very surprised. While Fluttershy does the test itself, I will be engaged in doing the end of all tests already. There, we will place the balls and chests. The ladder will be completely confused. It is from it that the whole test will be made. We wanted to do it from the beginning, but we thought it would be better to do it at the end, to make it much more interesting and longer. So we are already engaged in the final test for our friends. It will be something like the past, so it will just be a continuation past. Only here instead of buttons, we will make levers torches, which are very much hidden. This will already be the final test in our dog day, and I believe that these tests turned out to be very difficult for our friends, and they will be very long to pass it. So, we have all built our trials for each other, and I think we can start them very soon. I think it's going to be really fun. I believe that our tests no one will ever be able to pass, because they are very heavy. You definitely do not manage to pass them, Rainbow Dash and Applejack. No, no, Pinkie Pie. I think we will definitely be able to pass your tests, but our no one will ever pass. We worked very hard to make them. Friends, let's not argue and get on with our trials. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and everyone's going to show you what they can do. Oh my god! How big is this dog day? I am already very interested in what is in it and what challenges await us. I believe the entrance is here. There are some vines weighing, and let's quickly pass their rainbow dash. It is quite an easy test, and I think there is something wrong. I think it's a total fake. So it turned out, Applejack, let's quickly find the entrance to the real trials, because it was just a fake. But we haven't wasted much time, so let's find it. I found some weird button, and I think it has something to do with these trials. Let's push it, oh my god. So here we are at the first test we have to pass. So, the first level that Fluttershy invented with Pinkie Pie. It's like finding a lever that's hidden under a torch. Then we'll get the code that opens the door. So, here we have found this code. 7631. This is what we most likely need. I believe that we are very fast walking and fast all pass. We'll be through this whole thing soon enough. So, the next level we hit is like a parkour to pass. Let's get past the water barrier and then through the parkour. Oh my god, there's fake water. It's good that we got out of it. I liked it very much. All right, let's get down to parkour. So we have passed this not very difficult parkour, and now we will move most likely to the final test that awaits us here. Oh my god, we're outside the statue. This last test is not at all difficult, and here just need to be stuffed stairs to get to the top most likely. Now we'll do it with ease. Here we were able to pass these tests. And now we get a prize of two chests with diamond blocks. How cool! Your trials were too easy. Let's move on to ours. Now it's our turn to pass, and I think they did very bad and very easy. Need to check. I saw the first entrance right away, and now we're going to hit it. Here, our task will be to jump a rather complicated parkour on the fences. They are very thin and quite hard to get on them. But we definitely have to deal with it. So let's go upstairs. So we got to the top of the parkour. But the chest is empty and there's nothing. Although, there is some button here that will teleport us most likely to the first test. Oh my god! Oh no, it 
it will teleport us to the beginning, so we will have to search further. Where is the main test? So we found the first test, and here we have a choice. Go to the diamonds, or go to the emeralds. I believe that the best solution is to go to the diamonds. Oh my god, oh no. There are traps. Okay, let's just take the emerald path and try the button. So we get to the next stage, and then we have to do something to guess the code. Here we will need to find a button that will give us the code. It will be quite easy, because our friends have placed very few buttons here. And they put a very easy code. Seven... Here we are at the final test from our friends, and it is necessary to guess the le... Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we are going to play Minecraft, and I think you all should like the task we will be doing today. Hello! Oh my god! I'm so glad we're here today! Today we will build again tests, only this time, all trials will be held inside Miss Delight of Poppy Playtime! Hey everybody! Whoa! A very interesting task awaits us today, and I invite us all to divide into several teams, so that we have a whole two tests for each team! Hello! This is a very interesting task, and Rainbow Dash has come up with a very good idea. Let's get down to construction as soon as possible so we can get started on the trials. Okay, let's get to the first part of construction. First, we want to make a little fake pass so our friends get confused from the start and lose time in this trial. This is going to be a rather difficult test, which will take quite a long time. You will have to jump on the hatches, which are very thin and easy to fall off, because they are wooden! Now we are beginning to build the first test, which will not be the one that we'll have to pass. I think it's going to confuse our friends a lot. We will have this test one of the most difficult, because you will need to pass on the thin bars of the iron fence, and it is first of all a little painful, and of course very difficult. That's about how we're going to start our test. We'll probably have the hatches fixed later so they're all open, and we don't know if we should open them or not. And I'm doing the final part of this fake challenge, where there's going to be a lot of buttons, but none of them are going to work, and our friends are going to have to find another way into the trials. Okay, we're about to start building the first major test, which is going to be quite challenging. It's going to be a dark room where you have to find the door code. I will now at first help Rainbow Dash to build a black room where our friends will appear. That's where they need to find the lever that will give them the key. We are now also embarking on the construction of the first test, and it will be quite simple, but a little logic will also be needed here. What will happen here you will find out later. You need to build a room first. As Fluttershy builds the basis of our test, I will already be doing the test itself. Here, it will be necessary to find the lever that is hidden under the torch. He'll give out the door code. Wow, it's already so dark in this room. I'd be scared to go through the trials here. It's a good thing we're not here. Not only do we have to find something here, but it's also very scary. Now I will try to show you how our lever will work. There will be hidden secret button in this wall and there will be a lever. If you pull the lever, nothing will happen. And if you press the button, there will be a code. Now we are already beginning to build the next test for our friends. It's gonna be a little leaf maze that Applejack is gonna love. This is a very cool labyrinth idea, because here they can lose quite a lot of time during the passage and cannot go to the next test for a long time. Now, and we start building our next test. It will be a small underwater passage that our friends have to pass. It's gonna be an underwater endurance test. It's gonna be a really cool idea, because you're going slower underwater and they're gonna lose time, and we're gonna pass their trials faster than they are. At least we hope so. About this is how we have our maze. It will not confuse our friends, and their task will be just to pass through it. It will be a sort of simple, easy passage that should take their time. I'll even light them up in the maze! It will illuminate completely all the correct way they have to go and reach the button that teleports them to the last level. Now we'll just do what our friends will have to do to finally win our test. They're waiting for a little parkour that leads to the head. It's a really cool idea, and I think they're going to be very confused when they see some parkour right at the beginning. If they're going to get here, they're going to have to pass all the tests. We're already doing the final test for our friends. It will be very exciting and unusual, because they will need to correctly jump down to get on the slime and jump to the end of the test. I think this is a very unusual and original idea, and our friends are going to love it. Right now, I'm going to finish where it will be clear they won! So I'm about to finish
finish this parkour right up to the top of my head, and Applejack is finishing the finish line, where there will be a reward for our friends who are likely to pass all the tests. Yes! At the finish, they will be waiting for beautiful balls, as well as two chests in which there will be diamond blocks in the form of a reward. I wanted one chest to be a trap, but I changed my mind. So, friends, here we have prepared for each other's trials, and now we are ready to pass them all. Each team has already finished building and both statues are ready. I think it will be very interesting. I think that our trials with Fluttershy will never be able to pass because we worked very hard on them. You'll never get past them because they're very complicated. Let's see now who can't pass your test. You have such an interesting statue. I think the entrance is in the leg and it's very unoriginal. There's some parkour waiting for us on the hatches, which looks very easy, but I think it's actually quite heavy. But I think we can do it because it's a parkour. I've always loved going through parkour before, and this parkour on the hatches will be very easy for me, and I am sure that now we will pass it with you the first time because it is not difficult. There was nothing up there, and it looks like a fake entrance. It can't be that we fell for it. Hurry up and look for the entrance to the next test they have prepared for us. I think I found him and I need to get inside. I will learn this secret door from everyone and now we will quietly pass the next test that has been prepared for us. Here we are at the first test. There are a lot of torches here and I think that of all of them, you have to choose the only one that can get the code from the door. Applejack, you're a genius. That's what you had to do. Now we know the code to the door. 39.5 v 6. Now we can go straight to the next test. Next, we just need to go through the maze, which is not so complicated. It leads to one side and to the exit, and I don't know why the friends did it. It's time to move on to the final challenge. This is where we have to jump on the goo to get to the finish line. There is a chest and balls waiting for us, and I think there are a lot of values that we need. Hurrah! We won! Now it is our turn to pass your tests. I think we will quickly cope because we know everything you can think of. For example, you made a very noticeable door in your leg. So, here we will face a very difficult test, apparently. It will be necessary to jump through iron fences, which are very cold and dangerous. It hurts a little bit to jump on them, but we're heading for the prize. I didn't know it would be so hard, because it's our friends. And they made such a difficult and painful test for us. We made it much safer than they did. Oh my god, there was nothing in the chest! It looks like you have to press some lever. Oh my god, he's beamed us down and we need to find another way in. So we found some sort of entrance to a dark room and I think this is the first test. Here we need to find the password to the door and I guess how to do it. Well done, Fluttershy. You were able to easily find the code to this door and we are moving on to the next challenge. It looks like we're gonna have to go through this tunnel to get out there and get to the next level. Wow, it is. Now we only have to pass the final parkour, which is most likely very long, and we will finally win. I really enjoyed our friends' trials. Yay! So we finally passed the test from our friends. We definitely passed faster than they are tests, because they were here very easy, and we almost did not stop. But there was good water retention, so we've been able to pass the trials of everyone, and now we can end today's series. Subscribers, if you like the way we built tests, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. Today we will have a very interesting competition, and I think you will all like it. Hello. Today we will build all together a modern house, only it will be a competition between two teams. We'll tell you all about it. So, we'll split into teams of professionals and a noob's team of me and Applejack, and the team of professionals will be Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. So let's get started. I was waiting and I want to build something. Let's just be honest and not peek. So the first order of business is to build the foundation of our home. Pinkie Pie will help me insert the windows and I will build the posts. We will do so very quickly. We will have very large panoramic windows through which we will get sunlight and we could watch everything that happens outside. This is so cool. So, we are now also beginning to build our house. I think it will be very beautiful and we will try very well. Applejack will be a very good assistant. So, we need to 
make the most important foundation of our house, so that from it then do the most important thing. We'll make it not too big, but very beautiful. This is such a beautiful base of the house we are already working. We are great people that quickly began to build it all. Otherwise, we would not have done anything. Our house will be very big. We are already getting to the ground floor of our house. This is very cool. We handle very quickly the task of building our house. I really like it. Now we will need to finish the base, or rather extend it to the width so that the house already has volume. We're gonna make this wall and then fill the whole ceiling. We work very well together and when Rainbow Dash does one task, then I do the next one that needs to be done here. I'm making a wall so we don't have to do it and then we'll get right to the next challenge. All right, now we're going to do a circuit of our house to make it look modern and high tech. It's gonna look really cool and now we're gonna be finishing up the first floor of our house. I'm about to do the final part of our first floor, or rather the last wall that's left. All we have to do is make a floor here and we'll be ready. Now we're just finishing up the ceiling and we're only gonna have to do the floor on the second floor as well as the floor on the first floor. Let's get to the next part or we won't have time to build anything and we'll have a limited time to build it. I'm sure the professionals have already built half their house. Now we're gonna build a staircase to the second floor because we're gonna have to go up there sometime. It's gonna look really ugly on the inside, and it's gonna look really cool on the outside. And I will help Fluttershy with the construction of the ceiling of our first floor and the floor on the second floor, respectively. The second floor will be a little smaller than the first, but very necessary. Now we'll have to do the ceiling on the first floor. That's when we start doing the whole house, because without the ceiling, it's not a house. It's some unfinished construction. To get the job done faster, it's better if I help Rainbow Dash. After that, we'll have to make a floor on the first floor because there's only land. We are almost finished with the floor on the second floor and very soon we will begin its construction. We just have to finish the ground floor. Our house is already very beautiful and I think we will definitely win our friends in this competition. I don't think they even know what high-tech houses look like. Right now, we will start building our ground floor floor. I think it will be wooden because it is the best solution. The concrete floor is very hard. But I will finish the whole floor because it is very small and it takes little time to fill it with wood. It is already very beautiful and modern. We'll start building our floor now. Only to start, you need to dig up all the land that is here because it is very much in the way. I will help you with that, Fluttershy, because we have a very large ground floor area, and in one hand, it will be very difficult to do. I think the two of us are gonna be fine. Let me help you, Applejack. You must be very tired already, and I want to help you because I have a lot of energy, and I am ready to completely make a second home near. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you very much, Rainbow Dash. I am very pleased that you want to help me. Now we've made our whole floor on the first floor, and we only have a couple of elements left. All right, Pinkie Pie. We're almost done with the floor, and we can get to the second floor. We've done this so fast, and I'm so happy for us that we're trying so hard. Right now, we're moving on to the second floor. Here will most likely be a large terrace, as well as a small room where you can sit and relax. Now, I'm going to do the decorations in our house, because we have no windows and we need to make them, as well as immediately decorate. They'll be dark so the sun doesn't go blind. And I'm completing the last wall in our house because it is still unfinished. It will be solid and nothing unusual. We'll have to make some more walls on the second floor. I'm already doing the base of our second floor room. It will be small, but very panoramic because there is only one wall and the rest will be a continuous window. Just while Fluttershy is making the basis of this room, I'm immediately making a ceiling here because it is very necessary to sit in this room in any weather. This is the kind of decoration we get and think it looks very beautiful and does not interfere with the interior of the house. We'll just have to finish a little later. Now I'm going to do one major thing that we need in our house. This will be the staircase to the second floor because otherwise we will not be able to get there and enjoy the views. I'm about to make the main entrance to our second floor room. It will be very well equipped to look very beautiful and not a solid wall. And I'll be finishing up our second floor room. And now I'm going to do a panoramic window on the second floor and you can see what it will look like. And now I'm going to make a glass decoration of our second floor. 
First, we'll make a glass fence so we don't fall from the second floor and look beautiful. I'm almost finished building the stairs to the second floor, and I'll just have to figure out how to decorate it so it doesn't look like a regular staircase. That's how we're already building a wall on the second floor. There will be a small window, as well as space to put something there. For example, pots with flowers. And I'm already finishing building a window! It's very hard because a lot of glass has to be built. But we are professionals, so this is not a difficult task. Okay, I'm about to do the final part of our house, which is the exterior decoration. I will thus arrange flowers outside the house, as well as plant flowers in a pot. I'm also doing the last part that needs to be done in our house, which is the interior of our room, because that's the most important thing in the house. There should be two beds on us with Rainbow Dash, as well as a lot of things. We have very little left to do. Now I am finishing the terrace on the second floor, and we'll do a little interior on the second floor. By the time we do all this, we can already show. And now I will be doing a very necessary thing to our external interior of the house. It will be necessary to make a small decoration, namely as much vegetation as possible to look beautiful. That's how I make all the plants now. I put two pots by the window and plant the flowers. And I think it will be very beautiful, as well as a lot of vegetation around the house. This is how we want to put the trunks in our house and decorate our staircase in the process because it looks so much better than before. We've finished building our house. Here we are finally all and finished building our houses. I really liked all the houses and I'm glad we made such a challenge. You have a rainbow dash and Applejack turned out not a very bad home. I think we've all done very well in this series and now we can finish it. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Hi, dear subscribers. This morning, we discovered a very unusual thing in our yard in Minecraft. Looks like we're going to have something interesting tonight. Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. These are some colorful rooms that are presented for each of us. Here, even every room under the color of each of us. This is so cool. Hello, friend. I am very interested in what is hidden behind these secret doors, and I want to see it all already. Let's just spread out and see what's in there. Hi, hi. I agree with Rainbow Dash and let's quickly distribute and then share our impressions. Just take each room by its color. So, here I am, the first to appear in my room. It is so spacious and beautiful, and I wonder what will happen next. At first, I'm just in the nursery. Here I am already in my room, only there is nothing but a door and swords. It looks like now we have to fight some monsters. I really like it. Here I am already on my test and it is so beautiful. It looks like I will have to fight here with spiders as well as pass the parkour. It's gonna be hard, but I can handle it. Oh my God, I just got here and I can already see the zombie hand sticking out the door. Looks like we're gonna have to fight them now and we're gonna have to get the right sword. Man, there are so many different toys here. I love it here. I hope I can find something here that I need to move on because I'm hearing angry mobs. So let us begin these trials. Oh my God, I just opened the door and all the zombies fell under the lasers. Looks like it was meant to be, except I was supposed to hit the lasers. All right, I'm gonna get to the hard park. Besides him, I can already see some swords in the distance, so you don't have to worry about weapons that need to kill spiders. So, choose a quick sword. I think it is better to take the yellow, which is in the diamond stand. Well, let's go to the slaughter with the zombies. Ah, how many of them I didn't expect. Oh my god! I noticed a strange chest. Now you have to see what's in it. Oh my god, there's a sword and plenty of food. There is also a bow and arrow. It looks like you have to fight mobs. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it so much that these zombies themselves die from falling down. It's very cool. But some zombies still manage to come to me, and I have to kill them. I have almost passed this difficult parkour. You are very worried when under you lava, and most importantly, will not allow unnecessary movement. Good thing I'm almost through that parkour. I almost killed them all, but there are still a lot of them. I hope I can cope with them even if I run past them all. Bah! I survived. We keep fighting. It looks like we have to go fight these zombies. I'm sure they're already waiting for me at the entrance. Oh my god! Yes! You have to kill them to make your way. So I killed all the zombies and now I'm moving on. I wonder what the next 
challenge will be. The lasers are back, and it looks like I'm running from the zombies, but they didn't. So, I was able to get past the parkour, and now I have to choose the sword that I will fight against these spiders. I think a flaming yellow sword would be good against them. I have very few lives, but a lot of zombies. I really hope that I can cope with them, because there are a lot of them, and health is very small. You want to survive. There are a lot of them here, but it is good that I have golden apples. Now I will kill them quickly and go on. I'm very scared of what's outside the door. It looks like an abandoned station. Here's my next little test. I'll have to break the concrete block with my bare hands, because I didn't get the pickaxe. But nothing. It'll be quite simple. You just have to wait. So now I'm running to kill all the spiders that are here, yet they will not attack me. But if there is a storm or night, it will be very bad, because they will activate. There are fewer of them, and I'm doing very well with them. One more and I'll kill them all. It's a good thing I have food, because without it, I couldn't have handled everyone. There were a lot more of them after I went out a bit to them. I'm getting scared, but I'm doing the best I can. I want to go further, but they've completely blocked my way. That's it! I'm on my way! Wow, this place is so beautifully decorated with lava. I love it. Well, come on! Oh my god! So scary! There's a big, tall parkour waiting for me. I killed almost all the spiders that are here, and I like it. They kill in two strokes, so it's pretty easy to deal with them. But they also take away a lot of health. So, I killed all the zombies, and now you can look around and see what's in here. There is a very dark environment, but there are also a lot of jewelry, already very good. I think I'm almost done with everyone because there are so many of them. I did not even expect to see this. It was necessary to run out into the open space to beat them all. Well, all right, there is little left. Very scary to pass this parkour because it is a very high rise above the level of lava. It is very breathtaking and very scary to fall down. There are very few of them left. I almost beat them all. It is necessary to speed up a little because I wonder what is here. You should kill spiders in every room. There's a lot of scenery and it's terrifying. It was really hard and I kind of rested after killing all those zombies. Now we can move to the next room. So, I finally got through all these zombies and we hit an abandoned station that most likely used to have trains. It's too bad this happened. I keep going through the parkour and I'm already there. It's very scary, and I wouldn't want to fall down, because there's lava! I'm very worried and very scared. Wow, that's a lot of room! You have to kill all these spiders to look around and see what's behind these rooms. This place is so beautiful! So, here's the next room, and it looks almost the same as the last one. It's also decorated with old boards and skeletons. There's a strange chest here. I wonder what it is. Next in this test, we will have a small parkour, which is quite complicated. Here you will need to go through the parkour lava, as well as go through the parkour over the lava, which leads to the next room. It will be very difficult. Oh no! I fell off this parkour! Now you have to pass it first! But it's a good thing I remember how to do it, and I'm gonna go back upstairs real quick. Oh my god! How interesting it is here! There are musical instruments, as well as store things such as ice cream, as well as clothes. Very funny. I'd use this as a separate room if I still had it on my property. Okay. There was a pickaxe in the chest. And now I think we need to break this cage and get as many diamonds as possible. It would be fun if I could take them with me, because we're gonna need them. I have only a short way to go. And there are only very difficult parkours on thin stone fences, which are very difficult to hit, especially in the rain. But I can handle it. So I finally got to the end. There's a little chest waiting for me. Oh my god! As many diamond blocks lie here, we should try to take everything and run home. So I found a pickaxe here and I ran across a mountain of diamond blocks. I dare now to collect at least some of these blocks and run to my friends. I almost got the right amount of diamond blocks, and then you can run home to your friends. I miss them so much already, and I want to tell them what happened to me. Friends, I am so glad to see you again. We have all been tested for a long time now, and have not seen at all. We used to do everything together, but here we were separated. I think you all enjoyed the trials. Subscribers, if you like this series, 
like and subscribe to our channel. Also, write your opinion about this series in the comments. We will definitely read. See you soon.